Hello again. A few people have been asking me how to make split-screen videos of duets, uh, which are a bit of fun that have been coming out of the sort of lockdown experience where we're on our own, and uh, sometimes you want to play with other people, and sometimes you want to play with yourself, as it were, and do a duet together. So I've recorded myself playing the first strain of the um, Folger lesson for two lutes. Uh, and the way I did it, I'll just explain. I recorded the first part myself, I filmed it, and then I exported that as audio only. I then uploaded it to a shared folder that I had access to, and then I accessed it on my phone with the headphones uh, in, and I listened to myself on headphones, and I accompanied myself, and I counted myself in so that I started at about the right time. And I needed, it's not perfect, I should tell you that, I'll warn you in advance, but it's not too bad, and I'll show you now how you can put it together using iMovie to create a split-screen duet video. So here I am in iMovie, and iMovie has various options for doing split-screening. It has a very easy-to-use one that you can use automatically, but the problem with it is that it crops the video so that you get half of one video and half of the other cut either down the middle uh, lengthwise or widthwise, and it crops the video, which is a shame. And I think it's better if uh, you're trying to put together a uh, duet video to have them side by side and in full frame, so the full size of the frame that you've recorded. And to do that is a bit of a workaround, which is slightly irritating, but it does work. The first thing to do is to put down a background, and I'm just going to get a plain black background. You can choose whatever colour will go with your images, and that's because you're not going to fill the full frame. Now I'm going to take the first bit of my duetto and pop it down on top. Now I'm going to zoom right out of the timeline. I'm going to make the background as big as the music is. Now I actually had a bit of a false... I, I, I attempted to do both parts of the duet back to back and it didn't work. <laughs> so I'm just going to delete the back part of this video so I know that that is the end because I can see on the waveform and taking it up to that silence there, and I'm going to make the background, the black background, uh, the same length, and then I'm going to do something sort of similar um, at the front, and find the front of my music by going like this. There are various ways of doing this, obviously. I'm going to pop this down, so sort of like that, and I'll zoom right in and make sure that everything's the same length. So, I'm going to trim this black background to the start here so there's no frames of black at the beginning and then I'm going to just check the other end and do the same just make sure that they're the right length perfect now what I'm going to do is zoom out select this top thing I'm going to go up to this setting in the viewer window and it won't be selected probably you click on it and then you're going to choose picture in picture and that's going to resize that to be tiny. So I want this to be half the screen, because I want half of it to be this part over here and half of it to be that part over here. So I'm going to use these useful guides by putting this up in the top corner and then resizing it, and it'll show me there when I'm halfway, when it's filling a quarter of the screen. And I'm going to drop it down, and it'll tell me that it's on the the center line. And so that's going to be one half of my picture of my duet. So now what I'm going to do is export this as a file by going share as a file. And I'm going to export it as a file, save it to a sensible place, call it duet one maybe. I'm going to do video and audio and I'll call it duet one part one save it and then that's going to export there we go I'm going to show it in the finder drag it back in here then what I'm going to do is clear my timeline by selecting both things here and going delete I'm going to drop this down like this and now I'm going to get part Two of the duet, which you can spot because I'm wearing a, a, a I'm wired for sound there because I'm listening on my phone as I described earlier. And I drop this down here, and I find the start of the music a bit like I did in the other um, video where I was showing you how to edit it together. I'm going to 
shorten this, trim this down using that tool to be the start of the video, the start of the music. And I'm going to lift and shift this over the top. I might zoom out a little bit, so a little bit more room for maneuver. Oh, I forgot, it took me three attempts. <laughs> so there's the start of the next one. The last take's usually the best. Here we go. So I'm going to just trim this to the start of the next, of the final attempt. Forgot that. And it's there. Now I'm going to drag this over the top, and I am going to line it up with the first beat of the music here, and then using the waveform, I'm going to zoom in again, put the playhead there, zoom in, scroll and find it. Now that's the first note there, and that's the first note there. I'm going to pop them over the top like that, so that they're sort of together I hope. Not bad, for our purposes. I'm then going to extend this out so that it is the same duration at the beginning. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go through the same procedure that I went through before, which is by going up here, coming down here, going to picture in picture, using the guide to resize it to be half the size of the picture, like that, so you get the yellow bars, then moving it down like this, so that they're next to each other, and there I've got the two images side by side with a black background between them. Now if you were editing other people together, you might find that the volume uh, the, between the two different tracks is um, different and you need to adjust one or the other and you can use that by grabbing hold of this and, and adjusting the volume up and down. But because I recorded these in the same environment, they should be about the same volume. So if I put them both to 100, if I can do that with my... There we go. Now if I go back to the beginning of the video, Let's have a look at this little duet. Now, is it music? Uh, I'll let you be the judge, but that's how you do it technically. Um, have fun and enjoy playing with yourself. All the best.